Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at my 20 gallon long turtle tank. This 20 gallon long is home to, obviously, my yellow-bellied slider Sheldon, along with three Buenos Aires Tetras, and then however many rosy red minnows. Those are just for Sheldon to eat. And don't get me wrong, I like this tank. I am very content with how it looks right now, especially the basking area. I love it. I built it two videos ago. You can go check that out. But there is one thing that I absolutely hate about this tank, and that is the lack of flow. The filter is right there. It is the Top Fin IF40. So it is a 40 gallon filter, but the problem with it is it literally only makes flow like right in this area. This whole side of this tank is completely static. And I guess the fact that this is a 20 gallon long doesn't help the cause. So I went over to Amazon and ordered a few things and they came in a few days ago, but we're gonna go ahead and unbox them right now. So the first thing we're gonna be unboxing is this air pump. But the thing about this is I actually used it in my quarantine tank. I wanted to wait for this video to unbox this and install it, but I needed two air outputs for the quarantine tank. So I just had to unbox it early. But what we're gonna do is act like that never happened. And action. So here we got the Unique Life, Unique Life Quiet 20 air pump. Never seen this before. Just ordered it, just came in this morning. So uh, let's see what we got here. Very sloppy packaging. Whoever did that should be fired. Anyway, here's the pump itself. Here is the airline tubing and then it came with two air stones. It does have two outputs as you can see there. Very useful. And then a bunch of random little tubes and valves in here. No clue what they're for, but I guess we'll figure it out. Next up, and I haven't actually unboxed this one yet. I'll just go ahead and cut it open and then tell you what it is. This I'm actually very excited to see. These are two power heads. Also got these from Amazon. They were very affordable and I'll have everything that I ordered uh, in the description below. So yeah, this was a two pack. I think these were like $8 a pop, something like that. Real cheap. So yeah, we're gonna put one of these on the left side of my turtle tank and that will push water right over to the filter. So that will really help out circulation. And yeah, I'm gonna unbox one of these real quick. I'm going to save one of these for another tank that I'm setting up. I mentioned it in my last video, it's going up where the two and a half gallon beach theme tank was. Uh, the kind of tank that's going up there may or may not need a lot of flow. I don't know, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this. I've never used a power head before. And here we go. It looks to be very nice. It's sturdy, it's a little bit heavy. Looks like this just goes in right there. There we go, you can move it around, aim it wherever, and then it just plugs into the wall. Very simple. This is a, uh, it's called the Sun Sun Wave Maker JVP 110. We're gonna go ahead and rinse this down and then we will start putting it in the tank. We'll go kind of near the back, there we go. And we'll kind of aim it up towards this corner. All right, well, I hope the cord can reach the power strip. And I'm about to plug it in. And there we go, it's plugged in. Oh, <laughs> it's blowing the fish around. Well, there we go. You can tell that thing is pretty powerful. Look, it's blowing Sheldon too. I'm gonna feel it with my hand. Oh, it's not that powerful. Look, it's already kicking up some like dirt and poop and stuff. Sheldon, you're gonna be getting a workout. All right. They're making it look like it's so much stronger than it actually is. It really wasn't even that strong. That'll definitely help. You see, all this stuff is being blown around because that was settling on the ground over here. It had no way of making its way over to the filter. So now this power head will just blow it around so it doesn't sit on the sand and it will eventually blow its way over to the filter. So in a little bit here, we won't even see any particles floating around because they all will have made their way to the filter. So we're just gonna let it do its thing. Let Sheldon and the fish get used to it. You know, they went from being in completely static water to now being in current, but that was definitely a good move installing that in here. But now we're gonna move on to the aerator. Here's a closer look at the aerator. The Unique Life Quiet 20. I forget how much this was. I'll have the, the price on the screen. But yeah, it has two outputs. So what I'm actually gonna do is have one air stone in the turtle tank and then one air stone right over there in the 10 tall. So yeah, I'm gonna start hooking up this air pump. So what I'm gonna do right now, I have this huge roll of airline tubing right here, and I just set this right where I'm going to place the air pump. And now I'm going to plug in the air stone to the airline tubing. I'm going to put this where I want it in the tank, and that way we'll be able to see how much of the airline tubing we're actually gonna use, and then I can just cut it right where it's at. So what I'm actually gonna do is move this pile of black rocks over to the middle and then I'm going to have the air stone right behind them so it looks like the bubbles are like coming from the rocks. Alright, so 
that's how we'll have the rocks for now. I think that looks fine. And now I'm going to put the air stone in place. And there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the airline tubing right where the air pump is gonna be. I just plugged the airline tubing into the pump and I'm gonna plug it in. It's kind of coming out at an angle. I don't know why it's doing that. It's like defying the laws of physics. All right, well, whatever. All right, so I actually just made some adjustments to the turtle tank. I moved the pile of black rocks over there. I moved this plant over here and then all this stuff here in the middle was all right in front of the filter, but I decided that looks better. The plant right there is kind of covering up the tubing. This tank is good to go. I like how it turned out. But now, as I mentioned before, that air pump that is powering that air stone, it has two outputs, so I can hook up another airline tubing to it. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put this second air stone in the beta tank. So I'm going to stick the airline tubing onto the stone just like that. And I'm going to run this tubing behind the tank but before I put this in there I am going to drain a little bit of water out of this tank because it is filled pretty much to the brim and if I stick my arm in there it will overflow so I'm just gonna get a few cupfuls of water and there we go and we'll just return the same water back to the tank when we're done here so now I have the air stone right here I'm going to I'm gonna try and hide it behind the driftwood I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to bury this and there we go. I buried it as well as I could. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. And there it is. That actually looks really cool. So it's now a few hours later and all the tanks look the same, but I'll show you anyway. Right there is the turtle tank. And this tank actually probably looks a little bit clearer than the last time you saw it. All that stuff that the power head was kicking up has already made its way over to the filter. So yeah, that power head is definitely going to help keep this tank clean. Over to the 10 gallon tall beta tank. That aerator looks pretty cool, but I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna keep it. It is causing a lot of current. Lou kind of looks like he's struggling. His fins are working overtime. So I don't know. You may or may not see it next video. That is gonna wrap up this video and I do have today coming to the day that goes out to Jimmy another great vid happy to see the fish healthy again and I love watching Freddy eat the worms thank you very much Jimmy I do appreciate that and yes Freddy knows how to put down a worm that's for sure but if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video all you got to do is drop a comment down below and that could happen and if you liked this video be sure to hit that like button do me a favor and hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and I can see you in the next video is that noise that was just my mom uh beating up some frozen corn <laughs>